So a sad day here in Copenhagen. Uh, I have been to a funeral uh, of a friend of mine, Sonia Cassel, mother to my good friend Ola Cassel, who started cycling without age, who passed away in her sleep, unfortunately and unexpectedly, last week. And as always with a funeral, it's a heavy day, church service, reception afterwards, but in between really has been the ultimate Copenhagen experience. And there are a few places in the world where something like this, as beautiful as this, as poetic as this, can happen. And this just shows you that in a life-size city, that life-size city continues into death. The last journey by bike. Well, it seemed to be the um, the obvious choice to take my mother on a on a bicycle ride for her for her last journey. The bicycle has always been with her, and for the past uh, eight years, she's also been part of Cycling Without Age. And I've taken her for bike rides all over Denmark, to Norway, Germany, Sweden, and she just loves the way you know the, the bike to get around. It's always been with her. We actually had a conversation about a month and a half ago. We we're out riding, so she, she would be my passenger in the trishaw, and then. Uh, that particular day we did about 34 kilometers and we, uh, we visited all kinds of wonderful places. And then we had a talk about death. And I asked her, you know, where she wanted to be buried. Well, I took it as an opportunity to talk about, you know, what we were gonna do. And we were talking about, you know, the, 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 the bicycle uh, funeral as well. And she liked the idea. So, uh, you know, maybe it was my idea, but she totally bought into it. I had no idea what to expect from this, from this ride. The, the way I said it to some of my daughters as we, uh, we're riding along. I said, you know, this is a, this is a, um, such an amazing Zen-like experience to be here, and uh, she would have actually appreciated being one of the, you know, part of the group cycling along. She loved these kind of events as well. So to me, it was a healing experience. Uh, I, I felt that uh, it was a wonderful way to, um, to honor her and to to praise her and let her go. So I just I just felt it was uh, because also it's so it's so slow. And we were able to go into the park and go around and uh, and really, you know, of course, it's a sad situation when when uh, you know mother passes away. It's it's the worst thing that can happen. But at the same time, it's also a way to just talk about uh, and and feel and and join your friends and family with you know and and just cherish who she was because she was a wonderful person. She was such a such a lovely, uh, total devoid of prejudice. She was loved and respected in her neighborhood and so on. So to give her an opportunity to really be seen 
for one final time in her in her local community was uh, probably the, the 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 best final gift I could give her. What about you, Ola? When your time is up on this earth, is this, is this your last trip too? You're gonna do that? Absolutely, yeah. This is this is the way to uh, to go.